professional, welcome back. Just getting my uh, waterproof trousers on. Give me a second. So, so waterproof trousers. Oh. And look at these. Shiny new spring walking shoes. Excellent. That's a sign that I'm hoping that the weather's improving. Trice and all, welcome back. Let's go for a walk. iPhone 15, selfie stick and the pocket 2. That's the main equipment today, which will be nice and easy. Let's go and find some woodlands. I often think one advantage with iPhone photography is that you can get down really low and uh, test out compositions. So this one will be quite interesting. Let's go explore inside. Gimbal's still working. Hooray. I'm going to walk off in this direction because I can see over here some more oak and birch to have a look at. And I suppose for the first vlog of this year, spring is starting to make an appearance. Some leaves just starting to come out on these trees. And as you can see from the video, there's just a range of colours in there. So yes, I think one of those with a nice soft edit might be quite interesting. So here we are, a nice bit of uh, silver birch and smoke, making some uh, old workings. Uh, took us down on the A470, which is just through there, where they're uh, looking here. If I can work some compositions without traffic, then we, we might get some shots here. Let's give it a go. Quite a lot of traffic noise, I know, but that's quite a chaotic scene with quite a lot of colour in it. And I think if I just think about a composition there. I'm going to take that. I like the way the branches move from right to left and that colour bit in the background. I'll do. I can see this silver birch and I think if I come down low and just work on a bit of separation. There's a tunnel in the background. You can probably see that tunnel on the left there. There we are. Quite interesting rid of the old industrial past but we'll work at the silver birch I think. Well we're here and it's a bit noisy by the side of the road and it's a, a rather boggy section of this uh, hillside but there we are all the water running off the hill and collecting down here so it makes for quite a nice little wetland area and uh, I think there's a shot in here at least one let's give it a go. Ah, oh, that's lovely. I didn't know this was here. This will be a section of the old Glamorgan Canal that took all the materials down from 
Merthyr Tydville down to, to Cardiff. Uh, I thought I lost this had gone under the A470, but here's a bit that's still here. Well, gotta take a photograph here. And this would sort of make sense as a collection of uh, old buildings alongside the, uh, what would have been the canal path. So it's probably quite an important point in our industrial history. Ah, excellent. One of the fans shot the rain. This is making the uh, the new blossom and the mosses ping. So, <coughs> ooh, excuse me. So let's add this to the collection. Yeah. Quite a nice little feature here with stone wall and the uh, trees and the mosses are really standing out. One feature I do like on this is the iPhone. I'll be the camera to the uh, action button over it's called. It means in these sort of wet conditions, I'm getting the phone out. Make the mosses hang as we say, onwards. Oh, time to loop back, and uh, as it's not wet enough yet, let's go this way. Up the hill we go, into the rain. Lovely. Come on, you can't resist a tree like this with some sheep in front of it. Oh, there we are, puffing and panting. We've climbed a fair bit now on the way back. Uh, one pity in these valleys for photographers is the National Group pylons, but never mind. A470 down there, to Harris Beyond, Quakers Yard at the bottom. There we are, lovely. Well, the intention was trees, but as we're here, we've climbed up the side. we've got to the higher ground and I, thankfully I can say there's been a break in the weather and now we'll have a look around what they call the gap which is the rock structure above the uh, A470. I don't know whether this will work but I'm just looking at the colours on the rock face here and with that silver birch something like that to try for a composition. We're now at that rock face I was talking about right at the start of the walk and uh, in this wet weather it's making these plants really ping their colours. So this is that small quarry hole, all the rock faces I mentioned at the start. And I climbed up, so I'm out of breath, but I think in the wet rain here, we'll find a few colours. Let's have a look around. It's that usual thing, just move around, find the, what you want in the foreground, a bit of background perhaps, like that. Keep the sky out of it. Done. This one, be a nice bit of foreground rock. Some silver birch in the background there, but that foreground rock and the colours behind, that's what I'm looking for. And this one here, still with a bit of last autumn's colour on it. Ah, we'll find a composition with this. Well, 
Well, there we are, a drowned rat in this Welsh rain. Uh, that was a very refreshing morning, thankfully, after a couple of days of partying, so always good to get the steps in and get some fresh air. Finished here in the quarry, or the rock face that I mentioned right at the start. What did we do? So we went from uh, above Quaker's Yard, followed the Taff up river, uh, checking out the woodlands, found a bit of an historical and industrial archaeology, that was nice, didn't expect that. Uh, loop back over the top, peeping into Aberdare, and finishing this quarry face at the gap. So, lovely. Right, back home to dry out. Tantronessa, until next time. Bye for now.